All right, so I'm about to do this video again because what uh, Facebook complaining that it got to be on the certain minutes. So I'm, shut the hell up. Sorry, dog at the door barking. I guess he see another dog. But um, I have four waters right here. Okay, but let me say this. This is a video that is uh, a result from this lady. She did a video stating that uh, these bottled waters were poisoned with lead, what have you. Now, lead poisoning, you know, un in light of what's happened to Flint, Michigan, um, we should all know that there's various lead minerals, uh, all types of stuff, people flushing and stuff down the toilet. The water's not pure, people. But they're, we're doing the best we can do with the water. Now, let me go on and do these tests. Um... I'm going to give y'all a little back history. I got a TDS tester. That's what she have, a TDS tester. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set this to 000. zero, zero. <clears throat> I cut it off. 000. zero, zero. I got this, um, you know, not even a month ago. It's fairly new. You can't drop these. You can't handle them rough because they're very sensitive. They need calibrating every so often. You can't leave them wet or they'll start to... Um, give you wrong readings. Now, I'm going to get into this test, but I do want to say this. These are not cheap. You should look to be paying uh, 20 to $40 or more for these. If you're paying... <clears throat> if, <laughs> if you're paying more less than that, chances are they're coming from China and they're cheap. Now, I'm about to go ahead and do this test. On these four waters I already know the result because I did it like I said I'm doing this video over but what you're gonna find is some astounding facts okay this is a Q QA test of approval on the back we got from zero to 500 500 being your water is poison you don't need to drink it zero to 50 is ideal drinking water everybody want to be there 50 to 100, that's carbon filter waters, they, you know, and hard water um, from 100 to 200. <clears throat> now, your average tap water is from 200 to 400. That's marginally acceptable. We really don't want to be there. Anything more than that, do something. Don't drink it. Stop. All right. Here we go. I removed the top. This is what the prongs look like, okay? Here we go. I'm going to try to get a little closer so you can see the readings. <clears throat> All right, so we have tap water. Regular old tap water. If you can see the reading on there, I'm about to put it in the tap water. You see that reading moving? Okay, it's 51. I'm not even going to reset it or hold it because I'm wasting time. Remember, anything from 0 to 50 is ideal drinking water. That's where you want to be. That's tap water. Now, I will say, being that I'm in a new complex, the pipes are lead-free. They're new pipes. So, most people um, live in older neighborhoods, buildings, you know, were built back when the lead pipes and stuff your water might have lead contaminate in it. You just have to do your own testing. But here, this is staying around 50, 51, which is good drinking water. Removing it, you see it went back to 000. zero, zero. Shaking it off, 000, zero, zero, let it dry a little bit. We're moving on. This is the great value spring water from Walmart. Putting it in. The thing just a little bit until I start seeing the numbers move. The numbers show 132. 132 is not good, not as good. 132, 133. That is almost hard water. You don't want to really drink hard water, it's not good. Be better off drinking this um, tap water. I mean, yeah, went back to zero, zero, zero. This is that water. 
I got that from Kroger's. Springtime drinking water. Put it in. That is 120. That's almost 132, 150. It got to, you know, go out. It go back to 130. One fifty five, one thirty, one fifty five, one fifty five. That's hard water. You don't really want to drink that. Might as well not even buy it. Coming to the springtime water here. Got this water from Whole Food. Okay, Whole Food. That water back there. Got that from Whole Food. Okay, they supposed to have the best water. I pulled it in there. Okay. We're at zero, zero, zero. That's red at hard water. 195. 194. So the results from my waters, and she even had some waters. I don't know what type of reader she got for uh, lead, but her said TDS. I'll do my research, but and see if there's a particular lead, uh, thing for lead. But for my results, plain old tap water. There we go. There we have it. Hell, I might even stop drinking that. I might even stop spending my money buying this damn springtime water from Walmart. Spending 88 cents on some water that's hard water. When my tap water right here in this apartment is 50 and that is ideal drinking water. You want to be from 0 to 50. But, like I say... The numbers will change according to where you live at. And then again, I am going to do a follow-up video because my testing is not done. I'm going to do and see if there's one particularly for lead. So, there we have it, people. Do your test. Spend your $20 if you just that much concerned about the water like I was. I originally got that just to test the plants because plants don't grow in a certain hard water, this, that, and the third. But that has been my little water test. Let me know what you think. Let me know what testers you use. If you're testing for lead, if that even is a test for lead. Because I want to know somebody who got experience on testing. But that is it. Leave a comment, subscribe, like, do whatever. Pass it on. All right, I'm out.